Welcome back to Always Sometimes Monsters. Well, we are hopefully not going to kill an old lady. No guarantees. So, should we ask about the husband, or should we just keep quiet and- I think we can- I think we can keep going. Do you mind asking me how you and Thomas met? It's a funny story, actually. It happened this summer, after I finished high school. He was working at a garage near my house, and my father hired him to fix our old jalopy. Aww. Wow, that's actually good art. Yeah. I wasn't working at the time, so my father asked me to pick up the car for him. I had no choice. I didn't even have a license at the time, so I was terrified the whole day imagining myself getting it home. Well, that certainly sounds safe. How'd you get away with driving illegally like that? It was a different time back then. We didn't worry about little things like that. I was scared, but that wasn't going to stop me. I hated disappointing my father. So I showed up to the shop, scared out of my wits, and there he was. Covered in grease and sweat. A real man-man, if you know what I mean. Oh. Ugh. I mean, like... Okay, we, we often forget that old people, like... They, they were our age at one point. They can... Yeah. Yeah, I, I know. Like, she probably just, like, looked at him and was just like, Hot damn! Just, just hit the next one. <laughs> Thomas could tell immediately I was clueless and must have asked if I needed help a dozen times. I was stumbling over myself with how cute he was, so I just kept telling him I'd be fine. I wanted to get home as quickly as possible before I said or did something embarrassing. I was so distracted thinking about him that I crashed straight into a stop sign barely 20 feet away. <laughs> wow. The hell kind of stop sign is that? That's a telephone pole! That's a street light. That is a street light, actually, yeah. Look at the like she swerved into it! <laughs> Thomas the sweetheart charged right over to see if I was okay. It wasn't a scratch me, but the car was in pretty rough shape. I was terrified of getting in trouble with my father. He'd have been so mad to find out what happened. Thomas, sensing my dismay, offered to fix it for free and tell my father he needed more time with it to keep me from trouble. His only condition was I'd have to agree to go to dinner with him that weekend. Of course I said yes, and the rest is history. Love's funny like that, isn't it? Was it the accident that drew us together, or was it our attraction that caused the accident? Sometimes I think these things are just meant to happen, you know? Sounds like you two are made for each other. So far, so good. Okay, let's keep going. What was your life with Thomas like? Well, it wasn't perfect, but they were far by the best years of my life. You know, I'm kind of waiting just for, like, the image of the old lady to become, like, demonic or something. What? I don't know why, I just... Are there demonic old ladies in that Slay the, Slay the Spire thing or whatever? No, 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 no. Uh, there's just a lot of hopelessness and going on about how everything you do just comes back to you doing the same thing over and over again. I trade all the ones I've had I've got left just for one more lazy summer afternoon with him. Aww. They kind of look Hispanic. For but some reason the eyes just seem a little too far apart in that picture, you know? I that's just kind of like the Otis I think that's just the thing for them. But like in all of I the know. pictures of like um those two, they both seem Hispanic, but the old woman doesn't look Hispanic. I know, but, like, I'm sorry, but when I see the picture, the first thing I think is reptilian man, alright? I don't know why. I think it's the well, nose. Maybe he never actually, like, oh my god, his bow tie is so quickened. Well, look like, this it. is like, well, yeah, I see it's a bit drooped. You gotta remember, he's standing at a bit of an angle, so... 
I really like the art design on her veil, though. Like, look at that. Yeah, that's a lot of intricate artwork there. Like, there's a lot of little details. You can also see the shadow of her. Oh, I think dude, I... on, on the background, there's the picture of her picking up the car. Oh, yeah, there is. That's some very nice detail. Yeah. When we were young and everything was new to us, all we needed was our love. It didn't matter that we were poor or hungry, as long as we had each other, we were happier than pigs in mud. We had such grand dreams for our lives, we planned to travel the world together and see exotic places as a pair. And crushing reality. Eventually, though, the bills started piling up, and so Thomas started working longer hours to make ends meet. There were times we'd have debt collectors knocking on our door, and I wasn't sure we'd make it. I thought myself foolish for being so idealistic in our youth. Reality hit us a lot harder than we expected. I resented him for working so much, even though I knew it was necessary for us to survive. He would be frustrated with every mistake I made, fearing how far it set us back. The stress flow would cause us to fight over the most ridiculous things as we scrapped by. Still, our love was strong enough that our tensions always faded once we vented. We'd always make up and vow to double down on our efforts to make our dreams come true. We slogged away hoping we'd have a few extra pennies to put away at the end of the month, but we never got far. As we got older, things got easier, but we were too tired and beat to do anything about it. So you gave up on your dream just like that? We were comfortable and happy together. Eventually, we realized that's all we really wanted. It didn't matter what we, where we were or what we were doing, just as long as we were together. Oh, this reminds me so much of when I was in senior care. God damn. Ugh, so many love all people. Besides, it's more than a little impractical just to packing up your life to chase a silly idea like that. Sometimes I regret it, though. Especially when I wonder where we might have been they started enlisting. When I think about it, it's hard not getting angry at myself for not trying harder. But then, how are we to know? I'm sorry, it's a very painful subject for me. I think we should stop. Let's, let's, uh, let, let's, let's stop. No, let's stop. no, let's we're stop. not asking about how he did it. <laughs> I just love ice cream, don't you? You don't hear me complaining. I rather, I've had a really nice time this evening. I'm very happy you decided to come by. Oh, it's no trouble at all. I'm glad I came to you. Still, I want to thank you for spending your time with me tonight, so I have something for you. What's this? Those are my husband's baseball cards. He used to collect them when he was a boy. Some of them are quite old, and they're probably worth quite a bit of money. I want you to have one of them as a token of my appreciation. Or you can keep it as a memento, or I'm sure someone would be happy to pay you for it. You can't be serious, can you? Please, I know how much you could use the money right now, and they're not doing me any good. You just sit in the box. I can't even bring myself to look at them anymore. I won't take no as an answer from you, so don't even make a fuss about it. I just don't trust myself not to get all weepy if I see which one you're taking, so I just want you to pick by the time I return from the washroom. I, I just want to say, I had, when I was in senior care, I had something kind of similar happen. Um, there was this woman that her sister used to collect these little tiny figurines that, like, they weren't something that was like, something that you often sell, like, they were, like, little dollar things, and, um, like, there was one time I came by, like, she always had them on, like, a shelf, and I came by, and she had them in a box, and she told me, I don't want you to throw them away, I want you to take them, I don't want to know what you do with them, I just can't look at them anymore, um, and she just gave me the box of them, and told me, just don't throw them away. I don't care what else you do with them. I just can't stand to look at them. Hmm. 
Just close up the box when you're done. We won't say another word about it. Understand? Yeah, I understand. Alright then, I'll be back in a moment. Wow, these cards are really ancient. How about there was a small fortune to the right collector? Oh. Here's the thing, we really do need the money. We really need money, oh my god. She says she never looks in it. Yeah, but it's... It's a connection to her husband, though. A connect... Okay, you remember Schrodinger's cat? You know? If she never looks in the box, the cards to her are still there. How many do you think we should take? There's no half ass in this. We either go all the way or... So it's three or none. Yeah. And we really need cash. Yeah. Shit's a box full of them, so I'm sure that there's more than just the three. Probably. I just want to say that, like, if this was in real life, I would take none of them. No, like... If she said, like, I want you to take one, I would take one, but I wouldn't sell it. I would definitely keep it. But this is a video game, so... No. Get away with this. But seriously, don't don't fucking do this in real life. Oh my god. Are, are we seriously doing this, though? <sighs> I kind of have to. Oh my gosh, okay. You took three baseball cards. Don't trust the Japs! <laughs> you know what? I feel entirely better about this now. <laughs> <laughs> Don't trust the Japs. Love, Thomas. We made the right decision. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> It's the only way I'll be able to pay my rent. I'm sure she'll understand. I hope I made the right decision. Oh, I still feel bad about this. Thanks again for having me over, Miss Talawacker. You're more than welcome. You're such a good kid. I like those filthy chats. Here, take this, take this with you. Some leftovers from the dinner to eat later. You received leftovers too. A young person like you needs to eat. Well, it won't pay my bills, but it's better than eating junk food. Thank you very much. You take care of yourself and have a good night. It's getting late, so I'm off to bed. Alright then, good night. So sell the cards. Sell the cards. It's getting pretty late and I'm beat. I should count my pennies and see if I can get my rent paid. Between the zero dollars I have in my fall and the hundred and forty I have my rake, I have a grand total of hundred and forty dollars available to pay my rent. That's not enough to get me back in my bed. Hope I can scrounge together a few more bucks, but uh, maybe sleeping under the sta uh, under the stars tonight. Better go find a comfy street mattress. We still have a lot of stamina, though. Yeah, I think we can still go around town, and there might be more stuff we can do. Oh, we never... We need to check mail. Did they... Okay. I think... The arcade was one of the things that was closed earlier. Yeah. What time does it open? I think it's still, like, soon to be the grand opening, you know? Yeah. So, pawn shop. Yeah. Yo, welcome to Dick's Pawn Plus! Take a look around. Baseball cards. Oh my god. Holy shit. Could we really do it though? She said we could sell them. God damn it. 
Weird, someone called three notches into this scroll file. I'm just curious on how much it's worth. 37, okay. Fucking Tony! Okay, uh, let's see if we can go to the Phoenix now. It's probably closed. Or at the very least, way too late to do code check. Looks like it's closed for the night. What kind of knife club closed for the... That was like a construction guy doing there. Uh, remember there was a... Oh, there was... Whoa, that... it's that one lady. Yeah. But they went on about how stuff's under construction or gas leak, yeah. Hey, there's a gas leak, so I can't let you pass. Should be cleared up in a day or so. There's a raccoon. Should probably stay away from it. I think I literally walked on top of it before, and... Alright, yeah, that also works. Can I steal from garbage? this food? This bed is spoken for. Guys, get out of here before something bad happens to you. That does not look like the face of a guy who would say that. No. Oh, it's you. Hi. Thanks again for getting me here. The pills are so good. Hey, are you alright? I'm fine, I'm fine. I just... the colors are so loud, you know? It feels like they're coming out of me or in me or... I don't know. Ugh. Oh, look, baby, I don't feel so good. Oh, that was puking noises. Okay. Yeah. Look, baby, I don't feel so good right now. Maybe I had too many to eat. Tomorrow I show you. Yeah. Bye bye for now. Can I get in your house? Huh? The key fits for the devils. Oh. Just same thing. Let's let's get out of here. I wonder if I can talk to her again, though. Ugh, I don't know what I ate, but something funny for sure. It all grumbles in my tumbles. Tomorrow when I'm better, we'll play together. I'm going to rob you blind. I'm pretty sure if we gave her the discount pills, we'd be dealing with a dead body. Yeah. If that's what the good shit does, I don't want to think about what the bad shit does. What is going on over here? There ain't many things I don't understand. But boy, those crosswords in the daily news times are hard to figure out. I... I almost got hit by a car the other day. Made me drop my coffee and everything. Most of my friends think I'm pretty smart, which is a given. They're not too bright themselves. Okay. Why is this guy here... Best not be looking to sleep in my bed. I'll punch you all over and steal all your bread. I uh, don't want to cook for you right now. Let's just get out of here. Um. Let's see. Oh, let's see if we can go to the cookie place now. Okay. Doesn't hurt to try. Um, what was it? I think it's here. This is the last place I can really think of that we could. No, we can't because we don't have an appointment. Dag nabbit. You can probably go back there. Oh yeah, that might be a problem then. I'm really sorry, but those are the rules. If I leave back with an appointment, I could be fired. Sorry to bother you. Okay. Is there anything else you can think of? Well, it's night time, so maybe we should just keep looking around in alleys. What about that place where that dog was? Maybe there's something there now. Like there. 
Some people say sleeping on the stoves is good for the soul. Those people usually don't poke next to dump stews, do they? <laughs> that is a very good point. Maybe I have stayed here, I don't think. Well. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. My connection cut out there. Yeah. I think the dog was over here. Nothing. Did we ever go in here? Oh, it's the bank. Yeah. Employment center. Yeah. I... I feel like we missed something. Like, if it's nighttime, I imagine there's gonna be another one of those, uh... But it's not. Hmm. One of the mattresses? Oh, no. I think it might just be fucked. Oh, there's one here. Can I look at this? It's kind of dangerous and unsanitary. Should I sleep here for the night? I don't think we're gonna get the... Huh. I'm gonna go deposit my money first. That's probably a good idea if we're sleeping outside. Deposit two hundred and twenty-five. Pretty much, it seems like nothing short of playing the lottery is going to get us the money we need. Yeah, and I am not lucky. Guess we should just be up front to the guy if we want. Uh, we could what? We can go tell the guy we don't have the money, or we can just skip that and sleep outside. Well, let's go see if we can talk to him. Hmm. Maybe we should... With... Hmm. I don't know. I'll just talk to him. There he is. Hey, can we talk? I have about zero dollars for it. I'm sorry, but I ain't gonna cut a deadbeat. They wanna go find a mattress to sleep on outside. Well. <laughs> that was... Hey, I'm really sorry, but I have literally zero dollars for you. <laughs> Oh, let's just sleep. Hopefully I won't die in my sleep. I should have saved first, got you. What? Let's examine the room. Well, there's a typewriter. Some um, makeup. So I hit escape to save, and nothing is happening. Well, I guess we're in the fritz now. Flashlight? Um... This is Jack's family flashlight. I guess, um, take it? You took the lucky flashlight. It's empty. Did we get kidnapped by Jack? No. Maybe this is like a dream sequence? Oh, it looks like someone left money for me. You took $20. If it's dream sequence, I hope the money carries over. 
Okay. Yes, is that you? I'm out on the balcony. I look who's an early riser this morning. Are you okay? Did you sleep all right? I remember the last time you were up this early. Very funny. I'd sleep better if you didn't walk the bed so much when you got up. Well, I'll grump your pants, I'm sorry. It's not even that early, though. Most people in the world get up before noon. You know, so they can go to work. Oh, don't stall on me again already. Your dad gave me an earful last night. Relax, Jesse. You know you're welcome to stay as long as you like. Dad's just worried about us, is all. The contract's gonna come soon, so don't stress out. Right, and once it does, uh, we'll be able to move back to Dubstown and start a new life together. I just hate waiting, that's all. I know, me too. What else can we do, though? Just relax, take it easy. Your time is coming sooner than you think. You're right. I'm ready for this. Everything's gonna work out just fine. One day we'll look back on this and laugh. That's the spirit. You make kiss before you get coffee breath. There's a fresh pot downstairs if you want some. Love you too. Ugh, I don't want to go to work today. Yeah, but at least you're getting paid. I'm starting to forget what money looks like. Oh, that reminds me. I left a 20 under your typer in case you wanted to order pizza or something. Your dad complained about the leftovers? Thought they were fair game. He wanted to take them with him today. You now he hates flying on an empty stomach. Right, I forgot. We'll have the... Uh, we'll have the place all to ourselves. Don't get too excited. Orders came from on high. It's overtime season. You might be on your own for a few nights. Well, there goes all my plans. Oh, don't be so desperate. I know you hate it when I work late. So here, I made you this. Jack gave you a naughty Polaroid. No. Oh. What is he taking it with? A GoPro? <laughs> Believe in yourself. Well, there go my new plans. <laughs> Regrin's litter box needs changing. Would you kind of take care of it? As you wish. Thank you. Do, do you have any more dialogue? So, trash. Is, is he just gonna keep you your school tools? Okay, that's it. I gotta do some stuff, so. I think right. this is a good place to end it. Yeah, oh. I can't actually save. Fuck. Okay, let's try and wrap this up then. Uh. What? Okay, and the last duel was just our room. Good morning, Casey. Good morning, Jesse. You know what happened to the sausages I left in here the other day? I can't for the life of me find them anywhere. Um. Yeah, it's probably good that best to be up front. Yeah, and he already said that he knew that we ate them. Yeah. Yeah, I ate them yesterday. I'm so sorry. You just couldn't save them any for me, could you? I can pick something up at the airport, I guess. You'll give us a call when you land, right? 
It's a military base, Jesse. Pretty sure I won't be allowed to. Besides, I won't be gone too long. Let's figure out what's going on with the scanners and why the EM's readings are at the poles are so strange lately. I'll be home in no time. Do me a favor and help out, Jack. I don't want to thaw out in the mess house. Are you sure you're up for Antarctica? I'll miss you. Because that's... Uh, maybe uh, the significant other, or Jack will miss him. Okay. Jack is going to miss you. Oh, there's no reason to worry. I'll be cooped up in my lab all day. But for my assistance, there won't be a soul around for miles. You just keep your head in that book, U.S. I really hope that contracts you've been waiting on will come back. Will come before I get back. Tell me about it. Well, that's my ride. See you when I see it, Jesse. Jack, I'm leaving. Come say goodbye. Shit, already? I'm in the bathroom. Hold on a second. I gotta go, Jack. They're waiting on me. Be good. I love you. Dad? Wait, I'm here. You left without saying goodbye? Yeah, the car was gonna leave. Don't worry, Jack. Your dad's a tough son of a bitch. He'll be fine. He's not gonna be fine. Yeah, I guess you're right. Everything's gonna be okay. Oh, well, I gotta get to work before I'm late. You'll be good, my brilliant little writer. You just go and have a good day at work. I love you. Love you, too. Connor, you just told me you love me. That hatred silence is just like... That actually sounded a decent bit like a rattlesnake. Give me a call if the contract comes, alright? Yeah, for sure. Um... Phone. Can't think of a reason to call anyone right now. Maybe once the contract arrives. Mm. Uh, we were told to do a little box and... Letter. Hold up, can we literally... I... I think you have to go get it. Yeah. Hmm, what do we have here? Pizza Lamoles in Rundino's Finest. 20% off all pickup orders. The best deal in I think town. you mean all pickup. Oh, dears. Oh my god. Why did you have to point that out to me? Hmm, San Vodona's Pizza. This is it. Holy shit, I can't believe the contract's here. Downstairs. Yes, I understand. Yes, I know. Yes, you explained. It's just... Well, sort of a team, you know? Two halves of the whole... Peas in a pod. You know what I mean, right? It's just really important to me. I understand, Jesse. Sam's your partner, but the facts are the guys upstairs only like your pieces. Times are getting tough, too. You know, business ain't what it used to be. Just don't have the money to spare on both of you. you can't afford to keep everyone you want. Look, take as long as you want to think about it. Deal stands as we sent it. Always will. We'll phone you for the next six months so you can finish what you started, then we go to print. You sure you can keep up with that kind of pace? Yeah, don't worry. Great. Take as long as you want to think about it and give us me a call once those papers are signed. 
then I can get the wife off my back. We can go for celebratory a drink. I'm buying. That sounds <laughs> great. 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 All right. I'll wait for your call. Speak with you soon, Jesse. I think I'm can take a guess of what happened. That made them split apart. This is everything I ever wanted, right? What should I do? Maybe let's call, uh, you know. What? Okay. Who should I call? Larry Sam? Jack Sam. Sam? Because I'm not. I actually don't remember who Sam is. Uh, Sam was the partner that they talked about at the very beginning. Ah. I'm sorry, we cannot complete your call. The MacroChef mobile customer you are trying to reach has run out of available credit on their account. Please fucking hang up and try again later. What did you say? It said fucking MicroShaft. It figures. Shaft in the. It's called Jack, I guess. So, it came. <gasps> You're kidding me, right? Finally! Yeah, it's right here in front of me. What's the matter? You don't seem too excited. Did they change the payments or something? Not exactly. The deal's still fine. They just don't want to bring Sam into the picture. Like, at all. This is still great news. Sure, you don't get everything you want, but this is it. Isn't this what you've been waiting for? So you'll have to do it without Sam. Big deal. I can't just take a minute and realize what an achievement this is. Mm. Yes, he's right. I mean, it is a big achievement to get publicized. Yeah. You're right. I'm sorry. I want this for for a long time, and now I've got this. With my pinstrokes away still, but well, it's still a pinstrokes away still. But you know what I mean. Well, wait, you didn't sign it immediately? No, I wanted to get your opinion on the whole thing first. I wouldn't hesitate, honestly. This is gonna be so good for you. This is gonna be good for us. Who's Casey? I well, wouldn't bring dad. it up. Yeah. Either you're right, or... So, uh, I kind of want to go with... Well, we haven't met Sam. Oh, I think that Sam might be the person that we end up with, because... That's the only other person that seems to be in the picture. Unless we get back together with this dude. Possibly. So, basically, do you want to fuck the mysterious dude, or do you want to fuck Jack? I guess Jack? Let's just go with your right. You're right, I'm sorry. Of course, this is still going to be good for us. We have the money to move and won't be waiting anymore. It makes me so happy to hear. It's your choice, though. Whatever you want to do, I support you. I know, I know. I love you, too. Alright, I'm gonna leave you to figure it out. I gotta get back to it if I'm ever gonna get out of here. Don't wait up for me tonight, alright? Find time to talk after you made a decision. Alright, have fun at work. Not likely. He, like, is giving her the cold shoulder that entire time. Let's just fucking sign it. I, I need this deal. This is the right thing to do. I'm sorry, Sam. I don't really think that there was an option of not signing it. Day two. Now we can save. Oh, I bet Sam's the assassin guy at the start. Maybe. Whoa, that dream felt so real. Ugh, far from reality though. I wonder what he's doing now. I'm going to start writing in my journal again. You completed a journal page. Alright, so that's it for this episode. Um, do you want to do the sign off this time? Sure. Remember folks, 
don't try to kill elderly by stressing them by think making them think about their loved ones and how they passed and they've outlived most of the people they've known. Yeah. Bye.